I don't see one. This is looking a little treacherous. Oh my gosh. So treacherous that I'm in the creek. <laughs> Hey, it's Brett here, Mountain Bike More, and today I want to share with you a trail called Landslide Traverse. This trail is a different way to get from Machete over to the main area of Ladera Ranch. Or you can just use it to traverse, thus the name, traverse uh, the area and avoid one of the major creek crossings that sometimes gets a little bit ugly. And if you're like me and you don't want to get wet, this is a great option. If you like to get wet, then just ignore this. But I hope you like it. Landslide Traverse, Mountain Bike More. Oh, go for it. You got it. You got it. Ah! All right, here we are at the end of Ripper. Beautiful meadow here. And up here we meet the Arroyo Chirico Trail. And we're going to go left and join the Arroyo Chirico Trail instead of going right and up and over. And there's this creek crossing here. Uh, this one's not terrible. Um, so we're going to make this one. We're looking for a shallow spot. And I don't see one. This is looking a little treacherous. Oh my gosh. So treacherous that I'm in the creek. All right. So I lucked out, ended up finding some rocks to stand on. But that creek crossing is gonna get harder and harder as winter comes and the rains come. But that's not nearly as bad as the next one. And I know some people love them, other people don't. So we're gonna show you how to get around this next creek crossing uh, by taking land, slide, traverse. So we're still on the Arroyo Chibico Trail. Oh, there's someone ahead of us. I wish I'd catch them to see them cross the creek. But this next creek crossing is a deep one and a muddy hill at the side. And let's go check it out. Because this is the way you normally go. Or really like Tribuco. And he's hiking away. Here we are, here he goes. Oh, it's not so bad right now. And then there's the mud, and he made it. So, right now this creek crossing isn't nearly as bad as I've seen it, um, but I prefer to try to avoid it, unless it's about this perfect. Um, so let me show you how to avoid this creek crossing. So here's the Oso Bridge. We're coming up to the split where normally we go left. We have a creek crossing. Today we're gonna to go right and go to the land side traverse. And the first time we did this, everything was dry uh, and the sun was bright in our eyes. So the film didn't come out so great. So we're reshooting it. It's April 2nd and everything's green and lush. We had rain about a week ago. Yes, it does rain in Southern California once in a while. And here we go. 
up here there's a little jump then we just turn and follow the single track all the way around a little more climbing this way but we're gonna avoid the creek crossing that sometimes is brutal and this little fork i don't know what the heck it was built for same trail both sides maybe someone was trying to connect it to the top and this turn goes to a steep hill on their side if you don't slow down for that you'll have to hike it because you'll be in the wrong gear but heck no shame in hiking So this trail, most people don't even know it exists. Great way to check out the other side of Ladera Ranch. Right there is where the other trail met. Get a little reprieve from the pedaling. Cruise on the single track. We have Hero Dirt today. And this climb would be, it's not a long climb, but it's not the easiest. And if you look across the creek, you kind of see the top of escalator. A little longer this way. This dirt's still really tacky. It's been about a week. You don't want to be over here during a rain or right after rain because this does not dry out the way the other side of Ladera does. It stays sticky. All right, there's a climb up here. We have two tight switchbacks. Uh, they can both be challenging, but it's short, so if you're with someone that needs to hike, they hike it. If you want to challenge yourself, go for it. Start wide. This one's a little easier. And as I say that, I almost didn't make it. This second one usually is a little trickier. Dirt looks solid today. And when it's outside, it's blown out from people coming down it. And there we go, that's the hard part of the climb. All right, we just got passed by a gentleman, 63 years old, rocking a mountain bike. How epic. I'm out here with my 13 year old. What's that? 50 years difference. What a great sport we have. Normally you don't have to bushwhack here. You can go a little faster. And this is fun right here. A little downhill, single track. But there is a sharp turn coming up. Be nice to be able to see it ahead of time. Here it is. Hit the front brake and the rear. And you go around. This can be bumpy here or rocky not too bad you just keep your speed you got plenty of space here to slow down now we're on the service road at the bottom of this dip right here is where jungle is so if you want to go to the other side you just turn left at the bottom of the dip you need to cruise through the jungle you gotta sing welcome to the jungle while you do it welcome to the jungle well, I'm not doing it so there's the turn left we're gonna go right because we want to venture on some other stuff. All right, here comes a little hint for how to get to these trails. And one of the turns that most people don't even know about is right here. We usually go left, but you can go right.
All right, here's another little gem on the side. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe, and leave me comments. You can ask me questions about the trail guides, or about the trails themselves, about bikes, why is my hair wet, anything's good for me. So I hope this video helped you. I don't know why I can't speak today. I hope this trail helps you. GoPro, stop recording. Um, it helps trail builders see what's out there. Local riders in Ladera gives you different options. Mountain bike more, ride more, subscribe, laugh more. Like, crash more, comment. Crash more, comment.